Well, howdy, and good morning, everyone. This is James Wassum, the Tech Wrangler here at Dunrovin Ranch. And uh, it's a nice, cool morning. It's 19 degrees Fahrenheit here, and uh, nice and foggy out. We've got kind of some freezing fog going on here. And we've got Chuck and Bridger, and uh, Chuck's wife, Lori, is helping out with the feeding today. Uh, Lori is a nurse and she'll be working, I believe, at Community Hospital here in Missoula. But uh, yeah, they're really happy to be here in Montana and uh, it's great to have them here at Dunrovin with us. Um, I think if you tuned into the newsletter a couple weeks ago, you would have heard from Chuck and kind of a little bit of their history and uh, they're moving into the Bitterroot Valley in Florence and uh, building a house there staying here at Dunrovin for the winter and help them at, helping out as their house is completed I'll, uh, later this spring they'll probably move into uh, a travel trailer and finish up their house over the summer uh, sounds like a great project but Chuck will be here helping out with different things and uh, hopefully we get to hear from him a little bit more often. Anyway, it's been great to have him and Lori and the ever bouncy Bridger. <laughs> He's a good dog. Really great dog. Bridger and Boona get along pretty well together. Go on walks with each other and play a bit. So, yeah, we've had a little bit of snow here the last couple days, uh, which has been, I guess, mostly good. Um, I was pretty worried when it first started snowing because it was covering up a lot of ice, sheets of ice, and um, it, it did do that um, pretty, pretty significantly, and it can get really, really slick under there with the fresh snow, but... Um, so far, it hasn't been as treacherous as I was fearing, so that's good. Anyway, there's kind of our view of the morning chores here for you. Let's go see what's happening on the nest right now. Pretty low-key up there at the moment. Uh, we do have, you can see that fog, it's just amazing. That, that's pretty cool. Had a lot of fog the last few mornings. Definitely can make travel a little bit more challenging. But uh, it is pretty out. And you're seeing uh, more horses over here. We brought four horses over, kind of the main dominant members of the herd, over to meet Banjo and Scout. And uh, yeah, there was some kicking up of the heels and a little bit of posturing going on. But they seem to be settling in well enough, I suppose. I think the next step is for um, Scout and Banjo to head on over to uh, the winter pasture and uh, get acclimated with the rest of the herd in a more complete way. And then we'll bring the other horses back over to them. So, lots of moving around going on. So, you may have heard uh, from me yesterday in the chat that there's a few new updates on the website. Um, I seem to recall that Somebody was mentioning maybe including a new feature on the website, and that would have been a countdown timer for Harriet's return. And if you go to the live cam page, right there, click on the cameras link in the uh, navigation menu, you'll see right underneath the current weather at the ranch, you'll see the countdown to Harriet's return. So uh, that is counting down to 
pretty much uh, April 1st at about 10 a.m. I think is the approximate uh, date we've got on there. And I've got a few formatting issues to fix on this page. It looks like I've got some things that are kind of maybe breaking down a little bit. I changed some sizing issues, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Might have to switch it back to the way I had it. Um, and I also updated the wildlife sightings log. Um, the form entry is a little bit different than last year and uh, we also have a new form to display uh, again some formatting issues to fix there also got a new calendar widget that we're trying out and uh, so you'll be able to see that on both the uh, live cam page and the multi-cam viewing page so just kind of a new format we're working with so I hope you enjoy those. And um, yeah, so we've got uh, all kinds of fun going on here. If you missed uh, Brandon's uh, discussion with Suzanne yesterday, uh, you can go ahead and check. Uh, let's see, I think I need to upload that to the site here, actually. Um, you can always check the videos tab that'll be where I post the latest broadcasts and um, of course the newsletter would be the latest newsletter and I think I need to put this week's newsletter on there as well as uh, Brandon's last video but you can check those out in the newsletter uh, do click on that TikTok video link of McKinsey dancing with Gertie and it is pretty uh, it's touching <laughs> uh, it's great so um, do do click on that if you are a TikTok member give it a like and uh, yeah it's pretty pretty neat what he's doing with Gertie and how he's putting the show on it's pretty, pretty awesome alright well, let's see we've got back down here Chuck and Lori are going to be Continuing to do some feeding, they're going to take the big sled out and go through the gate here through the orchard and go feed the herd. And uh, they must know it's breakfast time. Crowding the gate already. Monty knows what's up. Looks like our greenhouse roof is doing okay. Um, I was keeping track of it the other a few weeks ago when we got all that snow all at once. Um, seemed to hold up really well. So, Got to keep track of stuff because that plastic roofing, polycarbonate roofing, has a little bit of flex. And I just wanted to make sure we had plenty of purlins in there, spacers that go uh, horizontal. You're getting to see all the all the fun chores here today. Feeding the littles, feeding the herd. It's a beautiful morning out there. That fog is you know, it's pretty special. Seems like Banjo and Scout are sticking to their little duo. Not getting uh, in with the mix too closely. Uh, once the hay gets spread around, there's plenty of plenty of room to graze. This freezing fog really uh, makes the trees look pretty cool. 
freezes to the branches and it's all that frost on there. And uh, these cold temperatures also are helpful for our little ice sculpture. We'll pivot down to the activity lawn for that here. Seems like it's uh, taking uh, some new shapes. It's good. Might have to turn the water pressure up as it's getting colder. You're seeing how it's uh, kind of creating a crown up on top. I probably should go and take a hammer and bust that up a little bit. Otherwise it just builds up and builds up and just kind of comes in on itself. And uh, here's a, see if we can show you a view of this from the other direction. So this is obviously what it looks like from the ranch camera and you can see we got Frazzle here and Ferdy, short for Ferdinand, the bull. Still haven't been brave enough to go sit down next to him. <laughs> Here's a view of uh, kind of a profile shot. This is from our portable camera, one we normally keep in the arena. There's kind of the view from that. And I think Suzanne might be, I don't know if she's taking some snapshots of this or kind of time-lapse stuff, but you can kind of see the ice uh, grow and shrink and whatnot. So far we haven't had too many problems with the lights. I did find one of our breakers tripped for one set of lights, so I uh, reset that. I'll have to see how that continues to go. I walked outside of my door this morning and saw two foxes running across the riparian area. They were headed south. The frost on that tree, that's pretty cool. kinds of wildlife hanging out out in the riparian area still deer out there the foxes have been pretty regular um, the two foxes we saw this morning neither of them seem to have a limp so um, we're gonna we, I have seen the horses that are the, uh, the fox that has the limp nearby so there's at least three foxes in the region. Yeah, I saw a little bit of posturing going on there. Oh, and I've got a surprise caller calling in. Let me see what this is about. Hello, this is the Tech Wrangler. Hello, Tech Wrangler. Uh, this is Kate and Buna. Kate and Buna? That's right. What is Kate and Buna doing? Well, we are down on the gravel spit, and we're just kind of taking our morning walk down here, and was wondering if you could see us. Well, let me let me see. We've got the river camera on, and uh, I do think we see a figure down by the gravel bar. I see you waving in the distance. We also see some geese at the tip of the gravel bar. I'm, oh, wow. I'm, okay. I'm surprised Buna hasn't uh, run them off, but uh, yeah. You know, it's so misty out here, I can't even see the geese. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, we, we can just uh, we can just barely see you, to be honest. Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, but it's, it's amazing out there. So Buna, it's beautiful. Buna might be catching sight of the geese here pretty soon. I see her moving around. I'm surprised she hasn't smelled them. 
Yeah, not not quite yet. You can usually tell when Buna's picked up scent on something. <laughs> she starts she starts running in crazy little circles. Yeah. No, now I can kind of see the geese a little bit. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I understand you're out on a walk and just kind of exploring the area there, giving Buna some good exercise this morning, right? That's right. And, you know, for whatever reason, I just felt like I should bring along these big lopping shears with me. I don't know why. It just seemed like the right thing to do on a morning like this. Well, you know, um, I, I, I don't know why you brought them either, but I, I could definitely <laughs> put them to work for you. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> or I could put you to work with them. <laughs> oh, that's how that works. I see. Okay. Sure. Well, why not? I mean, it's not every day someone's down here with lopping shears in the middle well, of winter. So, well, no, what, can I, what, what well, can I do you for? Well, you know, my understanding, and, and try not to freak out too much here, but my understanding is that there's a moose that's trapped uh, on the gravel bar. Come again? Uh, yeah, a moose is a moose. trapped. Yeah. Uh, I... I <laughs> I don't know what happened to it, um, but apparently it's been there, and now it has not been seen for some time. Um, and, and you want me to do what about well, that? Well, I, I, I think um, I, I think we're going to try to get you to free the moose. That, I'm going to just be honest with you here, James, that sounds like a dangerous proposition. Well, it, it could be. Moose are, known, <laughs> moose are known to be pretty feisty. Uh, they can be unpredictable. They can charge. They can, uh, or they can just stand and watch. I mean, it's, it's really, it really depends. But, um, okay. yeah, let's, let's okay. see if we can free the imprisoned moose here. Gotcha. Um, yeah, which direction should I walk? I'm facing you right now. Yeah, so you're going you're gonna to want to turn around. And okay. uh, it's going to be to your left, and it's diagonal, and you see that tree with a split in it uh, off to the left point across the causeway there. It's kind of in that corner of the of the island, and I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to uh, get some help from the folks online here just to see exactly where we need to be but you're getting close to it okay um and as you um yeah as you kind of walk towards that direction you'll get closer to the water's edge and i think it's going to be off to your right uh you you you're you're going to want to kind of head to the right just a little bit towards the point oh. of that gravel bar and you'll see a, a tree uh, or, or I'm sorry, a moose. Uh, you'll see a moose. Um, <laughs> well, hold on there. I'll see a tree or I'll see a moose. What am I after? This is freaking me out a little bit. Not going to lie. You're going to see a moose back behind there. Um, near, okay. the, near the water's edge. And um, I, I think you, you're, you're in the right area. Um, Should I? be looking to the left or the right for this moose well this moose is going to be straight ahead on the other side of the willows you can kind of see how the willows are stood up a little bit and blocking the view of that point right and yeah, um, sure. and there's some grasses and stuff and so um, there's a there's a moose also known as <laughs> as maybe a, a fallen stump or tree on the corner across the gravel bar there is that what you is that the name of the moose is fallen stump <laughs> it's called it's called gizzy's moose uh okay. and ap apparently it's very well behaved um so, is, is my okay. understanding um so it won't it won't bite me or anything as i try to free it no no it won't so you're gonna need to go to the left a little bit the left. Yeah, okay. and I think right about where you are there is where a lot of the blockage is. Um, okay. And I don't know how many willows are in that area, but my understanding is that it's grasses and willows that are sort of uh, blocking the view. Yep, and, and every everybody's saying right there. That's right, you're, you're right, right there. 
Okay, so I should chop down this willow? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, well, yeah, all the all the little things sticking up there. We're going to see how it goes. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to set my phone down, or maybe I can call you back in a minute. Oh, you can call me back if you like, sure. <laughs> okay, all right. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. So, well, that's a surprise. Um, we, we have a volunteer. <laughs> Kate and Buna are going to free the moose. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, and, uh, you know, she's, she's, she's only got some, some pruning shears here, or some loppers. And uh, it's kind of tough to see what's happening on camera here. And to be honest, I'm not sure how many branches she's going to need to cut down because you're going to have to guide us through this y'all because uh, I'm I'm just not sure how much of this we're going to have to chop down it's a little bit challenging with the perspective from the camera and the perspective on the ground um, as to as to what we're looking at or looking for So we'll see how she does here. It is pretty, pretty uh, foggy out there, so it's uh, it's a little hard for us to see what's going on too. Uh, Boona looks like she's helping. She's got some, some chopped down sticks, branches. It's uh, mighty fine work, Buna. <laughs> All right, so my guess is Kate is probably working on something uh, a little too far to the east. Uh, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I guess that she might need to be working towards the south a little bit farther. But I'm sure what she's doing now doesn't hurt. Kate the lumberjack out here. And uh, we, we're just going to hope that the moose continues to be well behaved. Looks like Kate's going to try to call me back here. And uh, I think uh, we'll have to continue to guide her a little bit more. She's Look at all those branches she's cut out. That's great. Give her a call back here. Let's see if she'll pick up the phone. Can you see it yet? All right. Well, you're you're doing some good work there for sure. Um, I think uh, we need to do. I haven't a, found a moose. No, no. We need to do a little bit more um, behind you, like directly behind, behind you. So what we're doing is clearing a path from the camera to where the bank goes into the river. That's that's essentially what we're trying to kind of clear out a little bit. I see. And um, so you cleared out a little bit, uh, but yeah, right, kind of straight ahead where you are right now is kind of the view, the sight line that we need to clear. So it's a little okay. it's a little tough perspective wise for us to kind of tell you exactly where gotcha. that's in the way, but you just sort of have to envision the camera line of sight to that bank. And okay, I guess it would help if I saw the moose. Yeah, first. well, maybe. Yeah, maybe go I, uh, go down I towards the, backwards. That's probably a good idea. So if you go down, you'll see where the. Uh, where the moose kind of is, is into the water, and you might see some uh, antlers sticking up. Should have brought my snowshoes this morning. A bit tough working out here. Okay, so I'm looking for a moose. Well, it's going to be off to your right. And off yeah, to my right. Yeah, in that point area. It's going to be across the 
where the water splits the gravel bar from the bank. Water. You know, where the water comes across from the main oh, yeah. river. So it's going to be, you're, yeah, you're, you're definitely too far to the right now. Oh, gosh. So it's, it's that point. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, Kate. I've had a hard time locating this moose, too. I mean, I, I, I think I some of our members have uh, eagle vision. Here, there was one. Yeah. I'm just not seeing anything. Now, is this, is this maybe what they're mistaking for a moose? Can you see where I'm standing? No, you're too far to the right. Oh. You're much too far, too far to the right. You need to come okay. back to where you were in line with the camera straight on to the point of the, uh, of the river. So keep coming and right there, right there. Okay. Somewhere kind of straight ahead where that point is, you may see a, a mass of some roots and some, a log coming down. I'm, I'm certain that really close up, it might be hard to tell it's a moose. Moose are kind of crafty that way. Yeah. Um, I'm only seeing a whole lot of willow here. Well, There's a lot of willow between me and the camera, so I'm not sure. Yeah. This may be a job for a brush hog. I don't know how, uh, <laughs> yeah. how tall this has gone up, but yeah, so you're basically trying to clear a little bit of a path from the corner of that bank or a sight line from that bank back through those willows. So right now you're a little too much toward to the left or towards the river. So it'd be between you know, kind of where you are there and yeah, right there. Right there. Right there. You're, you're right in line, straight with the moose and the camera. Oh. So if you look back towards the okay. camera, you know, and, and I think what would be considered in the way is going to be maybe some of the taller willows that have grown up and blocked the view. I see. Okay, well, I'll yeah. see what I can do. And, uh, and if I'm getting off off truck here and and I'm not uh, not revealing this this moose out here just give me a call yeah <laughs> yeah well we're we're watching so uh, yeah you, you kind of uh, trim up a few things between between where you were trimming and where you are now and it will probably uh, get you going in the right, right direction I'll, I'll but, see what I can do yeah and uh, you know if you get a start on it and uh, we, we need to take another look and do some more recon. We'll do that. And, and oh, this might take a few missions to free this moose. Yeah. Yeah, it might. It might. Um, it, it's, there's definitely a lot between me and the camera. So I'll, I'll get some of the tall stuff lobbed down and we'll, we'll get a start. And if, if the moose becomes revealed, um, let me know yep. if the moose if the moose starts charging definitely let me know oh uh, but yeah. it might it might be too late at that point <laughs> no. we'll call you as soon as we see something okay. there. but yeah if All you right. just if you just work your way back towards the towards the camera as you come back and just kind of get a start that'll that'll get us in the right direction i think all righty sounds good okay. Don't bring out. all right thanks kate and buna yeah Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, uh, this is turning into quite an adventure. <laughs> so I think uh, it's really tough with the camera to have the right kind of perspective. Um, it can seem like, especially at these longer distances, it can seem like she's much farther away than she is. Um, but she's trying to work her way back here and clear out some willows. I think there's a lot of stuff grown up between where the moose is and uh, our vision uh, you know, to it. So I can tell you from experience, having been on the phone with Suzanne and trimming leaves or tree branches away from the, um, away from the camera near the bench, I mean near the river, it can be really tricky. Um, sometimes you think you're locating a branch that's perfectly in line with the camera, but it's the wrong one and it's somewhere 
upstream, uh, sometimes quite a ways. And that, that uh, distance, that depth perception can kind of play tricks on you with the camera. So we still have the geese out here. Buna hasn't caught sight or scent of them, so uh, that's good. Looks like they're having a nice peaceful foggy morning on the gravel bar there. And uh, yeah, all kinds of fun here today. I know Suzanne uh, was able to check out the moonrise last week and was able to share some of that video in the newsletter, so go back and check that out. We'll just kind of cruise around here, see if there's anything else of note happening on the river besides a moose rescue. Got some uh, ducks over here, it looks like. I haven't heard any hunters in the area lately, so maybe hunting season has, uh, has uh, wrapped up. have over here. That must be a great blue heron maybe. It's got a very standing very still and has looks to be a pretty long beak. I'm gonna guess that that's the heron. Looks cold, that's for sure. Looks very cold. cool with the fog on the river. It's kind of eerie in a way, but it's uh, pretty neat. There's a Dunrovin beach. I understand we've been seeing quite a few coyotes in this area. And a lot of canine traffic between the foxes and the coyotes and the dogs walking back and forth. Fortunately, no uh, major altercations. To be honest, I'm a little more worried about the altercations and fights between dogs and raccoons than uh, dogs and foxes and coyotes. Foxes and coyotes are more prone to run away. Unless you surprise them. Well, there's a quick little 360 degree tour of the uh, river area in the riparian. Let's see if Kate's still working away up here. Still doing a little bit of work, checking things out. But, um, you know, like I said, it might take us a few tries to get sorted out figure out how to free this moose. I think we might be getting somewhere here. Oh, Twink says we've got uh, hunting season officially over uh, today, the 26th. All right. Good to know. Kate's starting to get a little bit cold. She just sent me a message saying, I think I'm ready to come back. <laughs> so she's going to do a little bit of trimming and work her way back. I think she's making a little bit of progress, maybe. But it is going to take some time. See if we can do some more recon down there. I might take a gander down there myself and 
check things out too and uh, see what see what I can see these moose can be elusive let me tell you that her call just real quick here and we'll bring her home <laughs> hello well howdy Hi. I, th I think you're doing pretty good work there to be honest but um okay. i know it's cold out there and we're all concerned for your well-being so um I think you, you, it looks like you've at least blazed a path that we can follow and build on. Okay, excellent. Yeah, my hands are getting a little cold, and I think Luna's getting <laughs> a little chilly, too. You know, so she, I do appreciate that. She's done pretty good sticking close by and helping out, pulling some sticks away and everything. Yeah, yeah, she has. So, she uh, has. And they, she's been a good helper this morning. The geese are still there, so that's kind of cool. She would have no idea that they were there. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. She hasn't even been interested in going that direction. Wow. So. Well, that's, that's good. We, we, we like it when she chooses to not harass the wildlife. Yes, that's true. That's so. true. Although she did see a couple of foxes this morning, and so I know that she has them on her radar. Yeah. She's looking for foxy sign. On alert. Yeah. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going to go back and maybe make a cup of coffee and warm up. So. Yeah, we'll make your way on back and we'll uh, we'll see you when you get back here. Alrighty. Sounds good. All right. So long. So long. Bye-bye. All right. Well, there we go, folks. We uh, had a little adventure today and uh, Kate and Boona braved the elements and the cold to uh, start uh, freeing the moose. So, uh, yeah, fun times. Uh, question here, I guess, is Kate still baking? Kate is baking. Um, she's taking a little bit of a break from her uh, job in town where she was baking, and uh, she's baking at home, which I love. I get to have all kinds of treats. In fact, she made a... Um, I think it was an olive oil, blood orange, and poppy seed pound cake yesterday. Just absolutely delicious. I should probably weigh about 40 pounds more than I do, but i um, grateful for whatever metabolism I've got there so I can keep eating Kate's tasty baked goods. <laughs> so, yes, Kate is still baking. Anyway, Kate and Boone are going to make their way back, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and wrap up the sunrise tour here. It's been a, a foggy sunrise. You can see that area where they walk across the river there, or the slough, and back onto the riparian bank. All right, well, there you go. You got to follow us along on a little adventure there. I hope you had fun and uh, really appreciate you joining me. And we'll uh, continue to keep you updated on this, uh, this uh, moose rescue story. So, I you know we all got rapt attention on this. So, we'll try to keep you posted. I'm going to send us back to the ranch cam here where we've got our horses being fed and um, we're going to go ahead and let you get on with your day. I've got a few things to do with mine. I've, I'm still trying to find that fence repair bucket that I've got. It's got a hammer, a crowbar, some fencing pliers, some nails and staples and it's kind of got some valuable stuff in there I'd like to have, but it's been missing for a little bit. Maybe the moose took it. <laughs> no, I don't. I doubt it. Alrighty, well, 
again, thanks for joining us today. Sorry, we went a little bit long here, but I'm sure you didn't mind at all, did you? All right, well, we'll let Kate come back. We'll get her warmed up and then uh, get on with a few more chores today. And uh, enjoy the fog this morning. It, uh, it might stick around for a while. It's uh, had a habit of doing that when it gets like this. It might uh, be pretty foggy for a few hours today. Here's uh, one more view from the nest. You can just see how dense that is. I think the fog's a little more dense than when we started this morning, which normally happens uh, after sunrise. It starts to, the air temperature changes just enough that it gets more foggy before it gets better. All right, everyone. Well, enjoy the beautiful day out there, wherever you are. And thanks for tuning in on our world. And, uh, yeah, thanks for participating with us here. And we will be back with you next week at the same time, 8 a.m., for another sunrise tour. Uh, be sure and tune in Sunday at 4 p.m. for another clicking with the Divas and McKinsey. And... Um, then Tuesday afternoon, we've got Brandon Carpenter here with news from Hash Knife Ranch at 1.30 p.m. Tuesdays. So I hope to see you then and keep those pictures and screenshots coming. You never know what you're going to see around here. So we'll uh, catch you next time. So long.